I guess, introduce our guests today, right? So uh, we can look. Christian. How do you want to introduce him? Christian. Just tell them. Just okay. tell them who you are. Tell, tell, who you tell, are. tell the. Tell, tell them who you are and, and what you my like about uh, basketball. My name's Christian. I've uh, been part of basketball, different realms of it, Filipino league, club, refing, coaching, um, and I'm very happy to be a guest here on Crossover. Oh my gosh. It's it's exciting, yeah. Here. Like, when did, when did we, we play, how long did we play ball together? Um, we played ball like, what? We, had, we played in a rec season mm. a couple of years ago, uh, yeah. last, last summer. I played oh, yeah. with Pat, PJ. Yeah. Um, Couple, couple years couple back. Years so, ago, yeah. no. how did you guys meet? Actually, like, because I met you through PJ. So, yeah. how did you guys meet through? Well, the, the Filipino basket basketball circuit is very like people. Not people talk a lot, but everyone knows each other. If you if you're a good player like uh, <coughs> like me and Christian <laughs> and Christian over there, people know each other. You know, <laughs> Christian's a shooter over here, which is funny because our next next segment is can you score? We'll see if you can shoot on these miniature let's, hoops. Let's see, let's see. Um, but we met we met uh, in the Filipino circuit, and we only played with each other a handful of times, but we killed it. Okay. Yeah, it was good actually. Yeah. Like, we actually got to play all together. It was mm -hmm. fun. Like we had a really And that good one time that we, we did play, we ended up winning it. Oh yeah. W's, <laughs> so, uh, W's all around. Yeah, exactly. exactly. We ended up, we ended up winning yeah. it. Oh, it was great. So um, I guess uh, bef we can go through your video. So you can introduce a little bit of what video did you choose and why did you? Uh, so I picked the Steph Curry reverse. It just en enables like the whole basketball game right now. Finesse, deception. And just the ability to score. Luck? Uh, this guy's <laughs> I'm, good, I'm man. Not sure. I mean, like, he's <laughs> known, he's known good, for man. his, you know, he's known for a lot of his, like, uh, handles and his shooting ability. But his like, touch is just... Not many, I think his, his finish, his finish under the rim is so underrated. They, they, yeah. they, they don't see how good he is at finishing. And I think he worked on that. I mean, his scoops, he had, he his, like, to. underhand scoop was just so, like, how do you beat that? His yeah. floaters is just there. So I guess it's it, it's a good pick to kind of show the the underrated side of Curry, right? So let's let's, let's that see that video. I, I, I felt it. like he was trying to find a, a shooter in the corner, but I don't know if it was Draymond I, or. I think it was supposed to be uh, oh, yeah. Durant. That Durant was supposed, was supposed to, go, to come it was short supposed corner. to go in the corner, right? So that's Durant. The way supposed he gathered, he's supposed to kick yeah. it out, and yeah. then he's just like, let me just like finesse it. Finesse. My face is frozen. <laughs> um, oh, I don't get it. It looked like he didn't even. It is it, veins, isn't it a yeah. no look reverse layup too? He, I, he, I don't. Well, think. like the way the the cool thing about the Golden State offense is that it flows so nicely that they kind of know where they are, right? So I can kind of see what why Curry was doing. You yeah. know, he knew where that there, there was someone that's supposed to be in that in corner. In the short corner. Mm -hmm. Right? And I think KD forgot. <laughs> <laughs> right? Which, in fairness, like he kind of had to improvise at that point, right? Mm -hmm. But he did make it so smooth and yeah. like, easy. Cool. So. That was a great highlight. Um, is Stephen Curry one of your players, or who, who who's a player that you like watching now nowadays? Uh, guys who I like watching, kind of growing up, were kind of guys who I molded my game around. Mm -hmm. um, and what was that game? What 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 did you mold your game about? A lot of catch and shoots, a lot of triple threats, a lot of two dribble pull ups. Mm -hmm. So. Well, uh, name us a couple of players that you feel. A like. lot of JJ Reddick, a lot of Allen Houston. Mm -hmm. um, and after I felt I was really feeling myself, I felt like Carmelo, oh, yeah. uh, ISO, yeah, White yeah, Mellow, yeah. like Gordon Hayward. Gordon Hayward? Um, okay. He's a good player. I didn't, I've and, never heard um, someone say Gordon Hayward here. The dude, uh, uh, Chandler Parsons. Mm, pretty boy. He mentioned two guys that are good looking. Gordon Hayward and Chandler Parsons. It's Can we get a close up on that? Can we get a close up on Christian's so, face? So it's not just about the game, it's it's the looks. So you gotta pull the looks. I also like the, like JR or like. JJ Reddick too, I just yeah, realized. Swaggy P, like See? all these guys who ah. just like to shoot the ball. Mm. That's it. When's the last time you've played basketball? Uh, I would say maybe like really into the game, maybe two, two years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Trying to get onto the, like the whole university circuit. Mm -hmm. uh, besides that, I've always been part of the game, and that's one thing that's always going to stick with me. What um, what part of the game are you now like more focused um, in being with? More part of like the grassroots part, where mm -hmm. coaching the fundamentals to um, the next generation, and also mm -hmm. within the uh, refereeing side of it, um, and kind of just using my basketball network to further myself and mm -hmm. pay it forward for all those great people who influenced me mm -hmm. in the game of basketball. Uh, it's so kind of the route that we've been doing a lot. Mm -hmm. So we're coaching a team 
the grassroots level too. So it, it's mm -hmm. great to, you know, we kind of have that, yeah, to have that kind of connection in the sense that, yeah, we love the game and we played it, we were passionate about it, but we're at this point of our lives, like, hey, why I not pay it forward, yeah. right? Because we had a lot of people that kind of paid it forward to us too, when people that coached us, people that mentored us when we were playing ball. Yeah, you talked about how you couldn't get into the university circuit. If people didn't know, your brother is in the university circuit. Yes. Talk about, are you proud of that? Talk about your feelings towards seeing your brother move on. To the uh, next level of play. Very proud, very proud. My brother is a very decorative um, athlete, um, represented Ontario on a provincial level, also a winner, and uh, now he's at... University of Ottawa uh, on the on the men's varsity team, mm -hmm. and he's he's holding it down. He's holding his own. He's he's undersized, but um, he works very hard, and I think that's what it is. It's just having an opportunity to play at a level here, as well as anywhere else, mm -hmm. and just being within the game. Is there yeah. something that you try to? Um do you, is there something that you try to tell your brother or that you've been trying to instill in your brother? I'm not sure if he does listen to you, but yeah. what have you been trying to instill in your players that you try to coach or even just your brother time to time? Um, just play with passion, right? Um, the game is, is so giving. If you, if you put more into it, the reward is twice as much. And that's either like, like, either like the dedication that you put in, how you play on the court, the effort that you put in, twice as much comes, about, comes out of it defensively. The hard work that you put in gym, mm -hmm. the outcome is twice as much. Yeah. Amen. Did you that feel like, me. I guess, like, uh, in a sense, uh, your, the way you approach the game, the way your passion and your love for the game has kind of that, uh, I guess, effect on your brother? Do you feel like it had that, you know, it, that's what got your brother into, like, really into basketball? Do you think he saw that from you and he kind of, like, yeah. Follow through the footstep of what you... I think what it was that we both... The crazy thing, we both started playing basketball at the same time. Mm. Wow. And then we were just in the whole organized club scene, getting as much games as we can, and just creating that passion at a very young age. Mm -hmm. And just whatever basketball gave to us was, was a, a lot of different opportunities.